I was asked to do this report by the Chancellor because whilst he accepts that this country is actually pretty good at foreign direct investment, other countries have won some significant deals which um, he felt we should have had. And I was asked to look into the reasons why. Because it's very easy for someone to say, oh, it's because of Brexit, or other people say, oh, it's because of corporation tax. But what we found was it was a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. So, for example, the sort of things that we've looked into is how easy it is for companies and sovereign wealth funds to invest here. Looking at, for example, government support, which may be grants, it may be, um, it, it, it may be co-investment. The grid connection, um, tax is one of the points. Um, visas, you know, getting visas when applying for um, to do an investment here. Uh, skills, I mean, there's a whole number of things. And companies reported that this is very uncoordinated. It was very difficult to get a coherent answer from the British government. Um, the, poly the money was often there, but it would take a year, 18 months to get it. So they were the things that we looked at. Mm -hmm. um, and the findings which um, are published today are, well, it's 105 pages, and um, I know you wouldn't want me to go on for hours, <laughs> Sylvia, but um, it basically is a way of org organising the government in a way that's much more investor-friendly. So, for example, yes. we're recommending that there is a very senior-level investment committee chaired by the Chancellor which will lay out a business investment strategy, which will say what industries are we good at and which companies do we need to attract into those industries, what do we need to do. And that a minister, a senior investment minister, would have a power over visas, skills and all of those barriers. So it's reorganising government to make them much more investment centric. And do you think we'll get that from the autumn statement later on today? Well. Um, it's not for me to prejudge what the chance is going to say today, but um, if I've consulted very widely with Number 10, with the Business Department and with the Treasury, and I have every confidence that the review findings will be accepted and that the government will implement them as soon as they possibly can.